beginner's tackle box. Where do we start, right? You walk into the tackle store, Bass Pro, whatever it might be, and you're just overwhelmed with the amount of baits that are in there, and you wonder, what do I need to start out as a beginner to catch bass? Well, I'm gonna go over some of the things that I found that I think will help you catch bass as a beginner that I've learned over the last 30 years. I'm Josh with Josh and Hunter's Adventures, and thanks for joining me on this video. So let's get straight into it. I've got a little box set up here. It's just a little Plano 3700 box that I've put together. And this is just some of the things that I think that will help you as a beginner catch more bass. And these are no specific order, but I'm going to go over some of them with you. Uh, one of the things that I think that if you fish in a lake, a pond, a river, that you can catch bass on pretty easily is a Senko. Okay, so basically what this is, is this is a uh, Gary Yamamoto Senko. And basically, um, you're going to need a small, what I've got here is a size one. Uh, these are a uh, drop shot or a wacky rig hook. And uh, if you're not familiar with this, you can do a YouTube search on how to fish a Senko. But basically, it's just a small little worm-like uh, bait. And it, you rig it through the middle, and you just pop it. And as it goes through the water, that's what it does right there. And bass love these, and it's a great way to catch bass. Uh, you know, springtime, summertime, fall of the year. Um, so that would be one of the baits that I think that you should pick up. And there's a lot of different brands out there, whether it might be Yums or Strike Kings or Bass Pro brand or, or any other brand, like I said, Gar Gary Yamamoto or anything like that. Okay, so the next bait that I think that you're gonna need in your tackle box is a Ned Rig. Uh, this one is a Z-Man. It is made of a Lazatec, so it is very stretchy. Uh, you're going to need a Ned hook. Uh, this is a uh, weedless style here. This is a 530 seconds. Uh, they make a open hook style one that is just a straight shank on the hook. That works really well if you're not around a lot of brush. That way uh, this one you can rig it up and it, it's sort of weedless so it doesn't hang up as bad. Uh, you will fish these on the bottom and really they don't have any action at all. I mean they're just straight and they just stand up in the water on the bottom uh, like on rocks or whatever it might be. Um, but they just, they really seem to eat it really, really good. I don't know what it is about this, but they really like it. And like I said, you can use this on, you can catch a lot of bass on one of these and they don't tear. So this is a, uh, a very good bait to get. <clears throat> now, the next bait that I would pick for a beginner is a chatter bait. Okay, this is a Z-Man. Uh, this is a tackle warehouse special here. So you don't have to go with like your top of the line jackhammers that are 15 to 16 dollars a piece you can buy the original chatterbait they're like three and four dollars a piece and they will still catch fish i've got on this one a z-man uh trailer on this one it is made of the elastic you can see it's very stretchy um, but these will catch fish in ponds rivers lakes it doesn't matter you fish these up around docks open water around brush anywhere this just mimics a bait fish, whether it's a shad or a bluegill, whatever it might be. These will catch fish, so definitely pick up some of these chatterbaits. Now, the next one, <clears throat> now the next bait is a spinnerbait. These are great baits uh, when there's a little bit of wind or the water's just a little bit stained. Uh, these are also mimicking like a bait fish or a bluegill. Um, but well, I like to throw these and I'll throw them around brush or docks but I don't like some of them to get a really good look at it because, I mean, to me that doesn't really mimic a bait fish, so if I reel it a little bit faster, I feel like they don't really get a really good look at it, and it's just a more reaction strike for them. But there's a lot of different brands out there to go for on spinner baits. I mean, there's anything from War Eagles to Strike Kings to, um, you know, it's endless amounts of uh, companies that are making spinner baits these days. That's a custom one uh, that I have there, but you don't have to go that route. Uh, you can buy just your normal War Eagle or Strike King that are they're like 5 or $6 a piece. Now the next bait that I think that every beginner needs in their tackle box is swim baits. Now these are Kitex, right here's the pack that they come out of. You can see these are Kitex. This one happens to be a 2.8 in the Chartreuse and Electric Blue, I think is what it's called. And this one is rigged up on an underspin. So basically what an underspin is, is you can see it's, it's just a swim bait head. And then on the bottom of it, it has a blade. So as it goes through the water, that blade spins. And that gives it just a little bit more, um, you know, action and a little bit uh, more visible in the water column. 
This one's just your standard swim bait head. This is just a quarter or an eighth ounce. I'm not really sure on this size. I can't remember. But uh, this is a Kitek also. And like I said, you just throw these out. Um, you can fish them in open water uh, around docks, brush, rocks, anything. Anywhere where there might be fish, uh, this is just mimicking a bait fish. So this is definitely something that I would recommend picking up. Uh, is some swim baits with a, a few of the swim bait heads. Okay, so the next baits that I think that you're gonna need in your tackle box are some top waters. And I've got two different styles here that I wanna talk about. The first one is a pop R style. Okay, this is a Strike King. Um, so basically a pop R is you'll cast it out and it sits on top of the water. And this one right here, will, as you move your rod, it'll splash, splash, splash. So it's like mimicking a little bl a bluegill or a bait fish on top of the water. Uh, the next bait is a walking style bait. Okay, so basically what this is, is is you're gonna work the rod, twitch it, twitch it, twitch it, and they call it a walk the dog. So this bait just goes back and forth and back and forth, and it just mimics. Uh, this one is in a shad color, so it would be mimicking like a shad on top of the water. These are great for early mornings or low light conditions. And you will, you, if you catch one on top water, you will be hooked forever because it's just, it's an amazing blow up. They're usually running at it and they just hit it really hard and it's it's really fun to catch. So the next bait that I think that you're gonna need in your new tackle box is crankbaits. I've got two different ones here. These are Strike Kings, they're square bills. Now this one is a shad-like color. You can see it's a natural color. Uh, and then I've got one with a little bit of chartreuse in it for maybe a dirty water condition. And I think these are great for shallow water areas. Uh, these deflect off cover really well so they don't hang up really bad if you're a bank fisherman. These uh, seem to like they'll bounce off like uh, rocks and trees really good with that square bill and you don't hang up as much as you do with you know your regular uh, crankbaits. But you know there's a there's a lot of different baits like I said that's out there and it's it's hard because you go into a tackle store and you get overwhelmed with the amount of baits that are there. But I think that if you pick up some of these and go out and see if you can catch some bass, I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Like I said, it, it's, it's, it's really hard because if you got somebody that you know can help you and tell you, you know, this is, this is what I would recommend in getting, or you know, this is what I would try, that would be a, a, a great, great thing. But like I said, I just wanted to put this out there for the new people that are learning how to fish. I think if you'll try these baits, it'll help you catch a lot of bass uh, in the near future and you just have a really good time. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you leave me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you know we put out videos. I'm Josh for Josh and Hunter's Adventures, and thanks for watching.